Good morning, guys. My name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. So, it is Monday, so the beginning of the week. It's a beautiful day, and it's slightly warmer than, well, past days. We went through a couple of ice storms the past two weeks, so it's been a little rough, cold, and kind of slow. Today, I want to clean up one of my vehicles here. It's actually my parents' vehicle, the Sage Avalon. So, if you are a regular on the channel, you probably have seen this uh, Avalon on our weekend washes. We're testing out some products on it, but it went through a little mishap in the interior that we'll just show you in a bit. Now you may be wondering, why am I not working on a customer's car today? Well, I actually did have a full book day, but our customer had to reschedule for another day due to unforeseen circumstances. So we're gonna be working on some vehicles here at home. So guys, if you're interested in the videos, if you're enjoying them, don't forget to consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss stuff. So here's the interior. We have a bag of topsoil mixed with manure. Made a little bit of a mess. Hmm, not too bad. We'll clean it up. Straighten out the interior and also wash the exterior and see how some of the products are shaping up here, especially on the hood. If you want to see what we did to the hood, check out the video in the card. So guys, let's clean up the Sage Avalon. We're going to wash the exterior and then give the interior a little express cleaning. And uh, we'll check out the hood. We have some products that we're testing or some interesting things that we're testing on the hood here. And I want to see how well it's holding up. Plus, we're going to be trying out some other new products today. We have a new product from Extreme Solutions their new graphene spray. So we'll see the application of this and then keep an eye on it and see how long this stuff lasts. So I'm testing out a new shampoo. Can't tell you what it is, but so far, foams up really nice. Let's see what the slickness and the cleaning ability is. Very, very slick shampoo, very nice. I put eight ounces and 32 ounces. That was a little overkill. I think it's really supposed to be four to six ounces. So four to six ounces I think would be plenty of shampoo and I barely even used, I don't know, maybe like four ounces or six ounces of the actual soap in the foam cannon that I mixed up. So pretty good ratio.
Well, the Avalon is clean. That shampoo we used is great stuff. Now check out the hood. You can uh, see the tape line. If you want to know what we put on here, then again, check out that video that I put in the card or I'll link it down below. But uh, the coating on here is still staying on both sides. Equal, what looks like equal durability here. Let's just do a little beating test again and just see if there's any degradation at all. Doesn't look like it. With the power washer, it was sheeting, but with this, it's beating more. Now this is XO V3. Why did I go with V3? It's just because I had that coating on the shelf and I figured I would try it. And that coating is two year uh, two years old now. It's been in the bottle, opened. So first, I wanted to see if it would work without a panel wipe, and I also wanted to see if an older coating, already opened, two years old, would last and still be effective. Now, it's not like the version 4 of XO that is extremely hydrophobic. In the early uh, onset testing of it, it was, and then it starts to die down a little bit. The beads are slightly more oblong, but the protection is still there, obviously. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm feeling very confident of the Extreme Solutions Finale polish that we used here on the driver's side without an IPA wipe down. And it performs just as well as the side that we did do a panel wipe. Now let's flood the panel. So I can find the right setting here. This is more flooding action now. And you can see it pretty much dries the panel here. Same with the driver's side. It pretty much dries the panel. Gotta go a little bit slower here, create a little bit more beads than I wanted. Here we go. Now you get that nice flooding action and the panel is dry. Same with this side. I'd say that is pretty much equal on both sides. So yeah, I would say that's pretty much equal on both sides. Very happy with that. Oh, and the beads definitely look tighter there, just depending on how the water hits it. Awesome. So let's test out some other products on here. Let's use a bunch. We're gonna use a couple uh, of products. We're gonna use one on the trunk, one on the roof, and maybe pick uh, some of the panels here to try out some other ones, and we'll keep an eye on them. So this is very interesting and I hope it picks up on camera. You can see the depth and gloss from the tape line there. The tape line is not polished or protected or anything. So you can see how the Finale polish, which we use on the entire hood, really did an awesome job. So again, just to reiterate, passenger side was wiped down with a panel wipe. That driver side was not IPA or panel wiped at all both the XOV3 coating on both sides, that is the result. So pretty impressive. It keeps its dark, rich color. Looks amazing. That's the benefit of a ceramic coating. And this is just really a kind of a top layer coating, not even a super hardy coating.
So to dress the tires, we're gonna be using some Vonix synthetic tire sealant. So it is like a cream formula tire dressing, but it's supposed to be a sealant as well, a plastic and rubber sealant. So this will be interesting to try out. It does say that it uh, is waterproof as well. So let's try it out. Wow, that gives a really nice, dark, rich look to it without looking greasy or slimy. That looks really nice. More of a natural satin finish without looking greasy and slimy. Really nice, so we'll let this dry. We'll see how long this stuff lasts. So the car is now clean and, uh, well, the sun is kind of escaping us right now. I did want to try to apply this in the sun, but we'll get to doing that later. But I'm going to use the Extreme Solutions um, Graphene Ceramic Spray. <laughs> As you can see, it is kind of a uh, dark translucent liquid, and it's very, very heavy solvent smell to it. So do not smell this product. And if you're gonna be applying this, wear either a mask or well-ventilated area or outside, because it is so strong. So, we're gonna apply it um, with a little applicator here, wipe off with the towel, let's see how it goes. So, remember, shake this product up well, it does kind of settle. I'm applying it to the entire trunk. And I can see it goes on like a traditional ceramic coating and I put it on pretty heavy so you can maybe see that in the Sun so you can kind of see the lines there and it will start to flash away and leave it on here until you kind of see that that rainbow effect you can kind of see it there a little bit and then I'll wipe away and at this point Let's see, it should flash away pretty quickly at this point. It does seem to flash away really nice after that. So yeah, wipe it a couple of times and then we're good to go. So that feels good. It, uh, it's slick, but it's not like other coatings. Um, I think the graphene coatings seem to be less slick. Just a weird attribute of it. Not to say that it's bad or anything. It's just the way it is. Let's see if uh, when it cures, if it gets any slicker. But we'll keep an eye on this, the trunk of the Sage Avalon with the uh, Extreme Graphene Ceramic Spray. So now we're going to use the Graphene Detail Spray from Legendary Car Care. I've used this before in a customer's vehicle, but now I want to test it on this vehicle. That way I can keep an eye on it. So again, shake the product. As you can see, it's kind of a translucent pink color. So I don't know if it's higher or lower in graphene concentration. I don't know. We're going to just apply with a towel, wipe it in, wipe it off. Easy and simple. I'm also going to spray it on the paint just because I want to see what it does. And I'll go right over the glass as well. Easy, wipe on, wipe off. Different from the other graphene spray coating where it doesn't flash away like a coating. This is more like a detail spray, but very slick, feels nice. I'll do this over the entire roof.
All right, one last thing to do. So we're going to coat the windshield. Now, ideally you don't want to do this outdoors. I wouldn't do this on a customer's vehicle unless they really requested it, but it's just not good to do. It's not good practice. You want to apply any type of coating indoors, away from the weather. So the temperature can make a difference, the wind and all of that can make a difference. At least it's not going to rain anytime soon, so it will be dry out here curing. But the coating we're gonna use is from a company called Gloss Boss. So this is their Vision, uh, their Boss Vision. And actually this can be used for both marine and uh, aviation as well. So boats and planes as well as cars. I'm just gonna use an applicator like this. And basically it's just like applying onto the paint. So I'm going to apply the coating onto the applicator like I usually do and just work in small sections. This will do most likely maybe a quarter or a third or half the windshield. We'll see how far I can stretch it. All right, so I did about half. I applied a little bit more and did half the windshield. I'm gonna do the other half. This is supposed to kind of haze over. We'll see, I've used it before and it didn't quite haze like a wax or a, or a sealant would. Um, so basically I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes, see what it does and then wipe it off. Now I also applied it to the windshield wiper, the blade itself. That can be good to do as well. It kind of coats the blade, coats the glass, hopefully allows for a nice gliding action over the windshield without any chattering or anything like that. So we'll see. So you can kind of see it on the windshield here, kind of doing that rainbow effect. Not quite hazing, could just be because it's outside or maybe I just can't quite see it. So there you can just see the that rainbowing effect. But let's see when you start to wipe it. Okay, good. It's nice and slick. Seems to wipe away nice and clean. Now there is a top coat for the official Gloss Boss coating. This is called Skin. And this is basically a silica sealant that goes on top of the coating. I'm gonna use it on the windshield. You can use it on glass and plastic and anything. Um, but since I'm outside here, and to kind of protect it from the elements, I'm gonna apply a coating of this right over it. Now, ideally, you wanna wait an hour let that coating start to cure and set. But if you're mobile, you don't have an hour to spare like that. If I've, Again, if I was doing this for a customer, I'd wait an hour it's in the garage. All of that is counted into the cost. But for now, and for testing purposes, I'm gonna put it on right now. I like this packaging with this little uh, pump bottle. Again, application is just easy. Mist on to the towel. and you can mist it onto the glass. And once that flashes away, then you can feel the slickness on the glass. It's nice. I'm gonna do it to all the side glass as well. All right, glass is now sealed. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I know it's not a weekend wash, it's kind of a weekday wash video, but the Sage Avalon needed to be cleaned up both inside and out, and I wanted to test some of these products. So if you do wanna get your hands on any of the products that we showcase today, I'll have the links down below. Of course, there are some of the products that I'm testing that I don't have any links for because they're in testing, uh, but check out the new Turtle Wax Disinfectant Cleaner. I will have another video on this for the interior. This stuff is excellent. Um, it's an awesome disinfectant, and it is an awesome cleaner as well. 
you can actually remove stains from the carpets and the plastics with this product. However, I like to use it as a last step disinfectant cleaner. So it's perfect for that just last final step before I put any type of dressing or conditioner or anything like that, especially in the front cockpit area of the vehicle. Of course, those are the, the main areas that are gonna to be touched the most, all the door handles on the inside. Um, so you can disinfect all those areas before you put on any dressings or anything like that. It does smell great, so it leaves the vehicle smelling nice as well, and it kills bacteria, viruses, germs, all of that stuff um, within 30 to 60 seconds, which is pretty awesome. So amazing stuff if you wanna try this and use it for your business or even just use it for your own vehicle or households, uh, kitchen and bathroom areas, then you can use it as well for that. Also the Vonix uh, synthetic tire sealant that we used, awesome stuff. This is really, really nice. I just put one coat on the wheels, nice satin matte finish. We'll see how long this stuff lasts. You know, we don't drive that vehicle, my parents don't drive it that often, um, but it'll be a good test anyway to see how long this stuff lasts. Now, as far as the coatings go, uh, the Boss Gloss coatings, um, you can't just get those for consumers. You do have to be accredited to get these products. So we are in the process of doing that, getting accredited to apply the Gloss Boss coatings, which are actually really, really nice. We've had a chance to play with them. I do have a video coming out soon, and they are really nice. However, there are other alternatives. There's plenty of other companies out there that offer coatings and silica sealants like this, toppers. Uh, for instance, if you are interested in any of the glass coatings, you can check out G-Technic or Geon. Now, Car Supplies Warehouse carries both now, which I'm really excited about. Really, the choices are there for you to make up your own mind. You choose what you want to use because across the board, I have found that they are pretty much the same. There might be little variances here and there, but when it comes to durability, ease of use, they're pretty much all on par. It now comes down to personal choice. What company do you like? What coating do you like? And what works for you? That's really what it comes down to. I love G-Technic and I love Gion. Those coatings are amazing. The Gloss Boss coating system, amazing. Very easy to use and I love using that stuff. But as far as windshield coatings, you can check out the G-Technic uh, coatings. They have glass specific coatings, but if you wanna pick up a product like this, a very versatile product, the G-Technic C2 V3. This is considered a topper for ceramic coatings, maintenance. This stuff can last up to six months on your paint, plastic, and glass. So you can use this on your windshield as well. May not last the full six months. You maybe get two to three months in real world conditions and really bad winter and, and rain weather. But still, the ease of application, spritz it on, wipe on, wipe off, that's it. Very easy. Do that on every wash and your windshield will always be beading and protected. So it's really not uh, that expensive to get this stuff and to use it on your windshield. Same goes with CarPro Reload. So CarPro also, their coatings, their products are awesome. And the CarPro Reload is also a topper. So it's a silica spray sealant. You can use it as a standalone sealant. And this stuff, you're probably gonna get more like two to three months. It doesn't have that extreme durability, but again, the application is so easy. After every wash, you use it as a drying aid. It's an excellent drying aid. I think it's better than C2V3 as a drying aid. It's a little bit thicker of a viscosity, so it's a little different. So I like to use this as a drying aid for maintenance on coatings. And again, paint, plastic, glass, everything, even your windshield, it is great stuff. So you can pick up a ball of this also to use it for your maintenance on your own vehicles or customers' vehicles. Now, as far as the graphene products, this one came in our February detail box. So the glove box um, are the detailing product subscription boxes you can get each month, which I love. Looking forward to March's. But this stuff from Legendary Car Care, graphene detail spray. It's kind of like a quick detailer infuser graphene. And then we have the Extreme Solutions graphene spray coating or ceramic spray. Uh, whatever you want to call it. I kind of call all of these detail sprays or spray coatings. So this stuff feels more like a traditional coating. Um, it's definitely a heavier solvent-based product and 
You apply it like a coating, it kind of starts to flash away, and then you wipe it away. This stuff is more like a quick detailer infuser graphene. So two slightly different products, but we have them on the vehicle now. This is on the trunk, this is on the hood. So we'll see what these products do on the next weekend wash or the next time that we wash the vehicle. So that's a rundown of the products. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you are interested in any of those products, just check out the description down below and I'll have links to all of those. If you already have products that you enjoy, that you love, then share them on here. Let people know what you like, why you like it. Don't trash talk products. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I do. If I don't like a product for whatever reason, I just don't use it. And I know some people want to know what those products are. Some of that stuff can be very subjective. It can be just personal choice. It can be the vehicles I'm working on, the weather here. All of that stuff really comes into play. What I like or don't like, you may like or don't like. So that's why I really don't talk about products that I don't use because I just don't use them, but maybe you like them. I know many people are going to comment about that and they want to know what products I don't like. When it comes to durability, really it's about the variables. I've seen products that some people have applied last many, many months. And for me, they last maybe a few weeks or vice versa. The variables are so diverse that it can confuse people. So when people ask what's the best product or what's the durability on that product, I can only tell you what's on the bottle and from what I've seen in real life, but that may change according to your location and your needs and wants. So when it comes to durability, I'm really not that picky. I am more about maintenance. If you are a detailing business, then you try to maintain your customer's vehicles on a quarterly basis, at least two to three months. Anything past that point, you tend to forget, or the customer tends to forget about caring for the vehicle, and it will be trashed within six months or less. So try to keep up on those customers if you can. If they don't want to, well, then that's their choice. But if you can offer them a maintenance service every quarter, that would be ideal, because then you'll be able to see what products last and what don't, and then you can make up your mind from there. But unfortunately, I can't really tell you what the best product or the longest lasting product is. I've seen some spray waxes that other guys hate that have lasted up to two months on a daily driver. I don't know why. And then I've seen other sealants that didn't even last a month that were supposed to be a six month sealant. So the variables, too many to count. So you kind of have to choose for yourself, choose a product that you've done some research on and go from there and test what product works for you and your demographic and your area in your business. That's my take on it. So that's why you don't hear me talk about durability too much. Yes, I do test some stuff on my vehicle uh, and on the vehicles that we have here, but even some of those just didn't even last until the next wash and they were supposed to be strong coating type products. So who knows? But again, if you have any other questions or comments, let me know down below. Let me know what products you enjoy using and that way maybe it gives other people a chance who are watching this to figure out other products to try out. But if you already have products that you enjoy using, then stick with them. There's no need to venture out unless you want to and can afford to. Otherwise, stick with what works. So remember, if you're enjoying the videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. I hope everyone stays safe. We'll see you next time. Take care.